To start off with, we need to make sure that we have intersecting road strings, creating either a T-shape or their crossing. The curb returns associated with that intersection also need to be created. An outcome of creating those road strings and the curb return is that we generate total model. The roundabout design will be using the total model surface. To enable us to complete the roundabout successfully, we need two alignments to be created within the drawing. The first one describes the horizontal geometry of the inside edge of the roundabout, and then the second alignment describes the outer edge. Both will be draped onto the total model surface when we come to do the roundabout design. Lastly, we need to make sure that the outer alignment does not overlap onto the curb returns. If we need to, we either make adjustments to the outer alignment or we adjust the curb returns to suit, ensuring that there is no overlap. Now we're going to go ahead and create a roundabout on a T-shape intersection and see how that's applied. 